Hello! I'm Nette. And I'm Annika. And we have been in Spain for three, three months, months as ex- <laughs> exchange students. And today we're gonna tell you the biggest differences between Spain and Finland. Yes. And one of the biggest differences we have noticed is the weather. In Spain it's so much better. Yeah. We have more sun and it's warmer. And when the weather is good, it leads to more happier people and more positive people. And it's just Everything better. is just better. Yeah. Because if the sun is shining, you're not moody or something like that. It's like naturally that you're happier and everything. Yeah. And mm, I love the weather here. And when the weather is good, you can go to the beach or you can go to the mountain. You can be outside with friends. Yeah. And talking about that. Uh, here people are more outside with yeah them. yeah more outside. in the evenings after school you go out with friends and talk with them like you don't stay at home inside playing some playstation or something like that yeah you go out play football or watch when some have like trainings or something yeah and then you're outside talking with them social and you're not on the phone all the time as in Finland in Finland everyone is on their phones. Yeah, they like use their phones like all the time. Yeah, <laughs> very all much. The time. Yeah. So like here, it's better because and, like when I was in, when we were in Finland, yeah. uh, and so much times some people have come and talked to us like like oh my god you're so much on your phone and I'm there like no what are you talking about? But now when we've been here. Yes, Finnish people are very much yes. on their phones because here they don't, they can't have it in the school. Mm. So like in the break, you have to socialize or talk with people because you're not on your phone. You're not there yeah. like the whole like. You can't you, like. You can't go be into your a own bubble. bubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk with people, and that's like I think that's really nice. It's, yeah, and talking about new friends, the people in Spain are so much more social. Yeah, and you get so easily. People friends because if you walk in the school go into your class between then there can be come like random people that you've never met say like hola guapa como estas yeah and like oh my god i love your hair and yeah all this it's like like it makes mm. your day so much better and your confidence is so huge or yeah here you don't feel like you are bad or something like yeah, that yeah because in finland people judge you here like, they don't do every mistake you make nowadays yeah. is on snapchat Instagram on video there they are all saved yeah mm. here if you do a fail you tell it to other yeah. people if you tell it and if you tell it because you're telling it you can as well make it a little better it's much better because your every mistake don't get saved yeah the school meeting the people school. in school yeah well, so you start with the Finnish school in Finland we have each class 45 minutes. You have breaks between every class and then you have the lunch break that is 45 minutes. And there you eat like a warm lunch for like potatoes, some sauce or something like that. Pasta. Pasta, rice. Fish. Yeah. Meat. Milk. And or something like Bread. that. Salad. <laughs> In Spain, we have three hours, no break. One 30 minutes break after the three hours and after the 30 minute break where we are supposed to eat our own lunch that we have from home we have another three hours of school no breaks and after that we end the school so in Spain the school day feels much more like hard yeah. or tough because you don't have break breaks between class exactly. so but it's still fun yeah and it's fun really yeah. But fin- the Finnish school is also pretty fun because the teachers and the students are like so close. Mm-hmm. But in difference here, the teacher is like the head teacher. of the class and the students is like low. But in Finland it's more like... Yeah. Another is the beaches. Or how the nature is. Yeah. Here, the beaches are big and at the Mediterranean Ocean where we, we are live just near the Mediterranean Ocean so here are a lot of beaches and the beaches are big and they are sand they're like sand beaches 
and the water because there's sand also on the bottom so it's clear the water is clear and you can see perfectly if you dive but then also if you dive then if you have your eyes open it hurts not hurts but you can feel it hurts a little bit another thing if it rains it, it doesn't rain. it rains a lot it rains a lot in finland so much it maybe rains in the autumn or even in the summer every day yeah. not maybe everybody but like Many uh, so much, so much, so much, and it rains a little. Sometimes it can come m- more. Here, uh, here it never rains, but when it rains, it rains a lot. Uh, and another thing is that food is different. We have yeah. more fruits, more vegetables, and more of everything. So good. They taste much more better because they're fresh and not like imported. Like- we live in Almeria, which is a, a city of, of <laughs> vegetables and fruits. Here you can see. Everything is full of greenhouses. They call oh, this the sea, plastic sea because, like, everything is white of plastic because it's the greenhouses. Yeah, and <laughs> those are the biggest differences that now came to our heads. Yes. But like, Hi. Bye. See you in. Hello. Hello. We are back in Finland. Now it's officially 162 100... days since we left Spain. And we are going to talk about the whole experience, how we felt, how we feel. We start with how the experience changed us. Uh, For me, um, I think my confidence raised. Like, Mm -hmm. now I'm more confident than before. Yeah. Of course, my Spanish is now better. Mm -hmm. And I think also my English, because in Spain, you had to use English every day. Almost every time you spoke, you spoke English. So, yeah, yeah. it's natural. It became, became better. Yeah, and I feel that I became less shy than when I was before. I'm still shy, but maybe not as much as before. And my Spanish and English also became better. I feel like I'm more to new things, like I don't have any like expectations for them and if I have they're not as big as like before because in Spain there was many things that you had made expectations for but yeah so before we went and when we were there so I talked with one friend who has been in Spain so she told that the time will go so fast after the first week or first weeks and I was like I don't think so, like it has got yeah. so slow, but then in the end I was like, she really was right that it get, went so fast after the first month, like... The last week went so quickly. Yeah. Really. I think three months in Spain is a good sign. Yeah. Uh, in the end we wanted to be more, of yeah. course. It's not too long. Yeah, and if you have it too long it can get boring and then the experience is not the same. Yeah. Like people usually say that stop when it's good. Yeah. And this was exactly yeah. a good example of that. Yeah. We had the best time there and that's when we left. Yeah. Good things about the experience uh, I would say everything. Yeah everything. But if, if you need to pick the best thing I would say the people. Yeah, I was gonna say the people yeah. so Lifelong friends, I yeah. would say. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. The, and the thing I miss most from Spain is the people, all Same. the friends. Every, really? Like. One day when Bettina came to me and she said, Hello. And then we went talking, we were sitting in a room and she told me, You are going to Spain these three months. And I almost screamed. I was so happy. I remember also when she came to me to tell. You searched the Erasmus page, I was like, yes, and then she was like, you got in, and I was like, oh my god, like, did I get in, and with that The day before I went, I cried the whole day in school, I was so sad, I wasn't like, sad of going there, I was sad to leave my friends behind. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's only the first month you miss your friends, yeah. <laughs> and then you start to get used to the to the feeling yeah. of them being in Finland and me being in Spain and I wasn't that sad, but I still was a little bit but then I was so excited to go there but I'm really, the, the feeling was so so sad when we left mm-hmm. because when we went to Spain we knew that we would go back to Finland in three yeah. months 
And now when we li we left Spain, we did we don't know when we're going back. Yeah. Like I'm going in in fact this summer back to Spain yeah. for 3 4 weeks to my host family again. Yeah. And we hope fingers crossed that, that I could that go. Oliver can also to, come. I could do oh any, almost God. anything to get there. Like those 3 months were the best time of my life. We are going to make two. them say yes. This is how we promise. The main dif difference is, yes, the people, the weather, and all Food, this. Yeah. The culture there. Yeah, what we talked uh, about in Spain. Yeah. Mm, but now, like after, if we, if we like think, so I think it's the same that before, how we thought in Spain. Yeah. The because food. they are so big, the differences that you notice them very quickly. Yeah. The experience overall well, very good very good yeah like in a few words that's the, like what you can say yeah this is something life-changing I think yeah. and, and I will never forget this me neither and like I've said maybe 10 times this video I would do it any time again yeah any time sure oh my god the memories are like so good and last forever and it's like Yeah. Kitos Erasmus. Tak Erasmus. Thank you Erasmus. Gracias Erasmus. This is all we can say because they made it possible. And hope we will see you soon. And hopefully someone else will have the same experience. Yeah. Okay, but thank you and hopefully we will see you soon. Yes. Bye. Bye.